Welcome everybody, Ralph Havens here, autoimmuneanswers.com and Enlighten Up. And we are about to go live on Facebook. This is also um, on YouTube, Beyond Limits with Ralph, Beyond Limits with Ralph Havens. And, um, and it's also gonna be on a podcast. So wherever you're hearing it or seeing it, welcome. And I'm just loading up the Facebook feed, so, so um, hang out for just a moment, and this will be up and running. It's Thursday, and um, I'm about to do the session for everybody that's on my, my email list. For years, I've been doing a, a healing session, a Beyond Limits session um, with Matrix Energetics and all sorts of stuff every Thursday morning. And so if you ever want to be part of that, if you're not on my email list, Go ahead and um, sign up for that, and um, and each Thursday I do a session, and you can always email me and let me know what's going on in your life and what you would like to change. We're still loading up Facebook, so I haven't started this one yet. I've got something really cool I want to show you today. Something really neat came in, and it's how I found. Um, a lot of what I was doing in the past was fighting myself and and um I think we're getting ready it's like spinning and so I want to show you how I how I solve that and I just want to make sure this is on Facebook live too so it's just spinning around I might have to redo this let's do this again Let's do this again. Okay, let's start this again on Facebook. It sure looks like it's gonna work. Okay, I think this is it. This is really cool how technology is going these days. It sometimes gets little glitches, but it's neat. I mean, we can do these things over YouTube and over Facebook Live and put them on podcasts. So these days, if you have a message to share, there's a lot of really cool technology to get your message out to the world. So if you're interested in some of the things I found, message me and I'll let you know what I found. I found some really neat stuff. And if you have a gift that you want to share with the world, um, this is a great time in history to do that. Okay, let's see. I, for some reason, this is, ah, it's gonna work. Okay, what is, what is your gift? What is your gift to share? How I stopped fighting myself. Okay, here we go, ready? Ready, steady, go. All right, so we're live. So, so um, this morning, I got up really early. I tend to do that on Thursdays. I do um, a session every Thursday morning. I've been doing it for many years, many, many years, probably seven, eight years now. And every Thursday, I think I might have missed one. Every Thursday, I um, I get up and I do my meditation and I do my in, inner game work and I look at my emails of um, the people throughout the the week that have emailed me asking to be um, surrogates to actually be worked on during the session and I do the session at a distance so nobody logs on but I do the session for everybody that's on my email list and then I email I write about it. And so, um, so if you're interested in that, go to um, go grab a, a spot on my email list. There's ways to find me. You can sleuth around the internet, um, look for Ralph Havens. Um, and this morning, you know, something came to me. I've been, um, I don't know what you call it, hell bent on trying to figure stuff out for myself. And I think part of it was I was um, really motivated because beyond motivated. I really wanted to stop this crazy anxiety thing that I'd been having my entire life and this crazy sweating thing that was bothering me and, and um, full of lots of shame and hiding and all sorts of stuff. 
And that was always running in my background. It's why I think I ran 70 to 100 miles a week for most of my life. And, and, um, and I had some other medical stuff that you could call um, self against self type things. It wasn't classic autoimmune stuff, but it was, it was definitely the body breaking down because I was fighting myself. And, and for some reason, that was my thing to figure this out for myself and, for, and then for other people. Um, and this morning, what came to me was, there was a time, you know, um, if you looked at my history, there's a lot of reasons why you'd go, oh, well, no wonder you're anxious. And no wonder you've got this crazy thing that you're like scared about, you know, the world attacking you and stuff going on. You know, look at how you were raised, your stepdad. It's like, good Lord. And, and um, you know, it seemed like I was always under the gun and being under the microscope and and I didn't dare do anything wrong. I was actually, it's crazy. I was told over and over again that he would kill me if, if I messed up. It was like part of his job is being my dad. It's like, good Lord, right? Is that weird? So, you know, I had this thing running in my background the whole time, not even in the background, in the foreground, that, um, that don't mess up or your, your, your things are not going to work out very well. And, and, um, and so I ran into, um, luckily, um, one of my teachers who then became my medical intuitive teacher for many years, 10 years and 110 classes. And she had a way to find where the spiritual pain was in the body and where the mental emotional pain was and how to clear it. And part of it was a homework technique. And it was um, quite involved because you had to find out where in the body the grief or sadness or fear or, or anxiety where it was, and if it was mental pain or emotional pain or spiritual pain, a lot, a lot of training to learn this. And so as I got this data and learned where these things were in my body, I would get up really early, like 5, 5.30 in the morning. And it's kind of become a pattern. I get up really early and do a lot of my big, deep work. And, and I would get up really early and plop myself on the couch, and I would put my hands on my spots and start to work on myself. And I would, um, like my teacher told me, go back in time and find when that was that it started. And then it's like you're erasing the tape and then you're hitting play and then playing a new tape as if you had a new life. And it got really wild. I mean, I, I, um, I did all sorts of stuff and, and it was my teacher that said, you know, you can do all sorts of things to change the reality. So I did some violent things in my imagination to my stepdad and, and um, changed things and got protection and got help and had a different life. And me and my mom and my sister, we lived a different life in my imagination, in my meditation. And it was all helping. It was all helping. And man, it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. And what I wanted was to really solve this thing. I didn't want to be a guy with anxiety and, and sweating and just totally uncomfortable and stressed out about everything. And, um, so that was the deep inner inner struggle. You know, the external struggle was I was um, building a business and I wanted to, you know, have a girlfriend and a wife and and then same person, of course, right? Girlfriend, then wife, and and um and I had all these things going on, and and so um so that all worked. It worked really well, and I got rid of my anxiety and my sweating thing, and um. But then a bunch of stuff happened where because of other things that I seem to have still have a pattern of um, being attacked. And so we found our way up here to the Pacific Northwest and there was that pattern again. I was being attacked again by um, somewhat seemingly evil forces, you know. We ended up in a house and then outside and all sorts of stuff. And so what I, what I found, luckily, thank God, was that I had to rebuild my, my business. And I had to um, start from scratch and I had to figure a lot of stuff out. And luckily I found some really cool teachers to help me get my business, my work, um, my impact out to the world in a different way, even a better way. So it was actually a miracle, you know, that kind of stuff can happen. The obstacles then turn into the miracles, but it got me really searching even deeper, going even farther and finding people that had real good results in the physical world and I mean results like um, they had businesses and money and they had the freedom and the life and the, the things that they wanted in life and they could do the work that they want to do in the world 
And so these were my new teachers. And I found something. I found something that was really cool. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. Because when I was a little kid, um, or let me back up. One of the things I've, I've had as one of my dreams for the longest time is that um, I'm on holiday, I'm on vacation, I'm in my really cool SUV, I've got my cup of coffee, it's vacation time, I've got my family, and we're cruising all over Utah. For some reason, that was the dream of like, we're on vacation, we're looking at pretty places, and we're just like having a great time together. And, um, and yet, there, here I've been out here in the Pacific Northwest, and we live about 30 minutes, 40 minutes away from um, town. <clears throat> so um, we have family day. Tuesday is family day. Um, Friday is family day with me and the boys. Saturday is family day again with the, all of us. And Sunday is then family day at the house. So family is really, really important to me. And, and um, as a side note, one of the secrets of working less um, days is to just start working less days. You know, so there's an interesting side note. Well, that'll be a whole podcast at some point. But, um, <clears throat> but um, as I was, you know, I was, I was kind of like, like, man, oh, man, I really want to move into Bellingham and, and build our house um, where we want to build it, south side of Bellingham. And, and um, but here we are out, out, outside of town, and I've got to drive 30, 40 minutes each way with the family on these family days if we're going to do something in town. And then I realized, oh, my God this is my dream. Like we're going to go to the coffee shop or I've got my coffee and we are in my four wheel drive big vehicle and it's fun. And I've got my family and um, my goodness, I'm doing what I, my dream was. I didn't even realize it. I'm not in Utah, but I'm in a pretty, pretty place. And so, um, so, and I, and I thought this morning, like, how did I get that dream and that thing? You know, there was a time the only time I felt comfortable, besides when I was running my guts out in high school um, and in, in junior high, was um, when my dad, um, we were doing lots of, we were on the road a lot doing crazy stuff, but he, he had this little station wagon that was cool with big tires that he had like um, hot rotted up a bit. It was fast and it was really a strong little car, but it could fit all of us. and. My mom, I don't know where she was a lot of times. She was in other places. We were doing all sorts of stuff. But I remember uh, my dad and my sister and I traveling through the night many times. And it was one of the few times when we did stuff like that that I was really comfortable with my dad. And he was so relaxed. He was so relaxed. When he was on the road, he was a truck driver, a big part of his life. But he was so relaxed. And so, you, you know, we'd be driving through the night and the moon is out and, um, everything is still and everybody else is asleep and we're going through at one, two, three, four o'clock in the morning. And my job was to hold his thermos and, um, and then without spilling it, pour him his coffee so that he could keep, keep rolling. And I did a really good job. And, and, um, and he was really happy drinking his coffee. It was one of the few times that he was just like at peace. And so of course I was at peace. And other times, I mean, I couldn't do anything right. You know, I blew up car engines. I um, just seemed to mess up all the time. And even when I wasn't messing up, I was under a lot of pressure. And so, um, so maybe that's how I got this thing about like traveling with my family and having the coffee and, and being on vacation. And for whatever reason, I still love driving at night. So, so um, what I found recently over this past couple of years is this way, I missed it for the longest time. And, and um, I kept, when I would see it, I would just like, no, it can't be that simple. No, no, no. And I found it recently over the last couple of years. And it's made a giant difference. My wife even noticed like, wow, what are you doing? Because our money situation had really turned around. And it's like, well, that's cool. I'm doing this weird little meditation kind of thing. And I'd done a lot of work up until this time with, um, with all sorts of therapies to try to fix stuff. And it's all been useful the stuff that I, I tend to find really useful stuff, but this was faster, bigger, better. And, and, um, and so what I gotten out of this, you know, I've gotten <clears throat> improvements in our, um, we've got our business now and we got our ability, a way to see people from around the world. And my therapy, my help, my coaching is even at a bigger level of being able to help people that I don't think I would have got if I was um, still back in San Diego 
um, working in my, my physical therapy clinic. I wouldn't have been pushed to that. And so, of course, you know, those obstacles and challenges can turn into things that are just like, oh, man, if that hadn't happened, I wouldn't have this bigger life. And so that was one of the things. But what the transformation was that I learned this thing and really got it on a deep level that these obstacles, it's not just like a law of attraction thing that you think it and you're like hopeful thinking and isn't this wishful thinking that the obstacle is the thing and you, you, um, you change your mindset and you're going to be different because you think differently and that stuff sort of works, but it doesn't go that far. And, you know, um, so what I found was a way to go right to the core of what that's really about. And when you think about it, like when you think of, oh, you want a house and you want money and you want um, to be, um, a, you don't want to work in the job you're in and you, you want to travel and you want to do all this stuff. What is it that you truly want, you know? Of course, it's a feeling, right? It's freedom or peace or real happiness, or you're okay with yourself. You know, it's these feelings. And so what I found in a real way is that <clears throat> when obstacles show up, there's a way to go right to it and shift what that's really about. And when it's shifted, then everything changes. And Jen right now is going through a really tough time with a couple of friends that are just, um, I think when you, when you, do these kind of things and really change yourself some of the relationships change you know if people are not um if they're used to handling things in a very um hidden or covert or um, codependent kind of way when somebody ships on the inside they might not go along for the ride and stuff might change in relationships and the cool thing is um now jen has a a thing where she knows oh this is a miracle so she's using this, this um, angst to go right with this, this technique, this meditation thing, to clear what that's really about. And the other side is going to be really big. And if she hadn't had those shifts in relationships, if they hadn't gone kind of weird, she wouldn't have had the opportunity to shift this thing that was already in her so that life can be different. So I want to get that to you. And there's two other parts to this that are really, really, really key to getting what you want in life. It's been my experience. And it's some things that the spiritual people just miss. It's what I missed for many years. And, and so, um, so if you go grab it, you can grab it. It's, um, I'm giving it to you. It's, um, I've got a video with a training of it and um, some session. You actually get a session by watching this video. And I've got a, um, a PDF that just tells the three secrets and how to use it. So, I mean, it's not the stuff that's in The Secret, the movie The Secret, or Law of Attraction. It's different. And so um, it really has a tangible result. So if you want it, um, you can go to ralphhavens.com forward slash enlighten up and get it. So it's ralphhavens.com forward slash enlighten up, E-N-L-I-G-H-T-E-N-U-P. And, um, and then there's a video on the other side of that. It, and um, some really cool stuff. You can listen to this video and, and um, have a big shift. And, um, and there's even a time limited thing. There's something that I'm going to be changing in the way I do things. And um, so I talk about that. Um, and there's, a, there's some, some stuff. I, I, if you scroll down on the page, you'll see um, something that's changing um, this Friday, actually. Friday and Friday is going to be different. So, um, so look for that. Go to ralphhavens.com forward slash enlighten up. And, um, and let me know where to send those, those three things, especially this one piece that I talked about today. And, um, and then if you're interested, there's a cool video and more explanation of some really cool ways to learn this way of um, doing things for yourself so that you can have the life that you want. And, and it's how, what I found that um, shifted it so that I'm no longer fighting myself. When there's a challenge, it's like, oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now I can do this thing. And it's going to be even cooler. So, so look for that. I'm super excited to hear what you guys think of it. And, um, and let's get out there and live. I'm about to go do the session for everybody that's on my email list. So um, if you're on the list, look for that in a little bit. Um, and um, I will see you all tomorrow. All right. Let's get out there and live. Let's really live. All right. RalphHavens.com forward slash enlighten up. Go grab that um, 
that thing I have for you and let me know how it goes. All right, everybody. Bye.